I'm Dr. Anna Hussein. I'm a board certified otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon, and the medical director of laryngology here at Community Healthcare System. Something you may not know is that the body actually produces a liter to a liter and a half of mucus every day from the nose and the throat, but you're constantly swallowing it so it doesn't feel like it builds up. Mucus is actually very normal. It's a normal byproduct of the lining of your nose and throat. It's there to lubricate the tissue, but also to act as a filter to help filter the air that you breathe in through the nose and throat before it reaches your lungs. So it's there to help you. We're gonna review the exam um, that we did today on Abby. So this is a na flexible nasal laryngoscopy with stroboscopy. Here we're coming through the nose. You can see a little bit of nasal mucus. Um, on the right side, so we see the structure of the nose known as the septum and the turbinates. We're gonna come back to the back of the nose known as the nasopharynx and come down into the throat itself. We have the back of the tongue, the epiglottis, and right here in the middle is the voice box or the larynx that contains the vocal folds. Here, Abby's gonna give us an E and we're gonna really watch how those vocal folds can vibrate. So here we go. So we have her vocal folds vibrating. You can see a little bit of mucus on the surface of the vocal folds, which can be normal. And the vocal folds sit right on top of her trachea or her windpipe. As we're looking on this exam, we can start to see where the esophagus opens up in the back. And here's looking at those vocal folds vibrating again. So this is how we can really identify early vocal cord issues, especially things like nodules. And then coming back out through the nose. The in-office nasal laryngoscopy is a quick and easy procedure that we can do here in the office. We use some topical numbing spray to help make this more comfortable for you. It only takes a few minutes and can provide a lot of information about what's happening in your nose and throat. This information is used by your healthcare team to guide you for your next steps.